In today's video, I'm gonna be letting you guys know seven things you should not do at your Rolex authorized dealer, your Rolex boutique. But first, I wanna thank you guys for hitting that subscribe button. A lot of you have been hitting it, but a lot of you have not been hitting it. <laughs> About 80% of my viewers are not subscribed. So guys, hit that subscribe button and join the team. I'm trying to bring you guys content you guys will enjoy and be entertained. As you guys see, by the past three, four months, I've been consistent and just trying to improve on the content. I have a certain audience that I need to, you know, uh, satisfy, and that's men between the ages of 25 and 45, and that's on the watch content. So that's why you guys may see some of my videos, I'm a little bit more serious and not loose. And for videos like this, or maybe the one where I, I drop it down in the description where I let the person in front of me uh, decide what I eat at a McDonald's drive-thru, you know, like that one, it's a little bit more fun and, you know, you guys will be entertained by it. So I'm trying to broaden my audience by bringing you guys content like that. So I want you guys to support me a little bit and hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. And also you guys can follow me on Instagram, mentorship.ceo, where I post a little bit more content on the day to day, my life a little bit. So you guys can get to know me and uh, see who I am. With that out of the way, guys, again, hit the like button, that thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get into this. So guys, number one, is do not talk too much. The Rolex authorized dealer is almost like the police. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of the Rolex authorized dealer. And that is, you might slip up and say something that they will disqualify you and say that you cannot buy one of these watches or they wouldn't really directly maybe say it to you but trust me they'll give you the run around and um, just be careful don't talk too much answer questions <laughs> speak when spoken to <laughs> and uh, yeah hopefully it'll go smoothly for you that way number two don't ever and I mean ever say that you've sold any one of your pieces especially if it's a Rolex watch don't say anything about downsizing anything along the lines of oh I'm downsizing I'm looking to buy something where I could uh, upgrade you know to something a little bit better a little bit more expensive don't say anything like that because that will disqualify you right away Rolex does not want anyone that sells their watches that they bought themselves so crazy but trust me guys keep keep it keep it shut number three if you walk in there, just do not ask for that watch that you want. That watch that you've been watching on YouTube, online, the one that you're in love with, do not ask for it. Just walk in there and have the AD tell you which watch you love and the watch that you should have on your wrist. Guys, I'm being a little bit you know, exaggerating with everything, but to a degree for you guys who know what I'm talking about, trust me, you get it. You walk into a Rolex AD, uh, you might want like a steel piece, uh, a GMT, they're not gonna sell it to you. They're gonna probably speak and let you go away from that high model and maybe put you into like an entry level, uh, like an Oyster Perpetual or something like that, or even something else like a jewelry, like a ring or anything like that before even getting you into the watches. They just want you to start from scratch, start from the bottom. That's what they want and uh, it's unnecessary, but that's number three, guys. Number four, do not walk in there and say that you love sport models. <sighs> you guys who know, you know. Don't walk in there and say, oh, I'm looking for a sports model. Just, just using that word sport, that will disqualify you. They're gonna quickly probably assess you and think that you're a flipper or you're just going after the hot models uh, especially if you don't have a relationship with someone in the AD, do not go in there your first time and talk anything about sport model. Just keep it to a minimum with what you say. <laughs> Number five, don't act like you're gonna walk in there and walk out with a piece. As a piece, I mean a watch. I would say 95%, maybe more, <laughs> If you're a new uh, Rolex watch buyer where you're looking to buy your first piece at the AD uh, and you think you're gonna walk into this AD and walk out 
with the watch that you want, you're dreaming. Like, seriously. It will not happen, especially today. I don't care who you are. Matter of fact, it depends. But you get the point. Don't walk in there with high hopes of walking out with a Rolex watch. Number six, do not record, do not take pictures. That's like a big no-no. I think, I don't know if it's in like the policy, like they have rules, but I guess it's just standard mostly in these, you know, high-end stores to not record, not take pictures. For some reason, I think that just, that just makes you seem like you're not really there as a serious buyer to purchase and you're just there for like content, you know? So don't be that guy or lady, don't do it. And last but not least, number seven, do not walk in there and speak the same way you would at a gray market dealer or a secondary market dealer, like let's say CRM Jewelers or, or Watch Eric or the Timepiece Gentleman or Grand Caliber. Those are just like some that come to mind, especially because they're on YouTube. Do not walk into a Rolex AD and speak to the dealers the same way you would to someone on the secondary market. It's a whole different uh, lingo or whatever you want to call it. And at a secondary market or uh, gray market dealer, they're not going to disqualify you once you have the money. That's all they really care about. And um, yeah, so guys, hopefully you enjoy this, guys. Seven things you should not do at a Rolex boutique, a Rolex authorized dealer, whatever you want to call it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this content, guys. Comment down below anything that you think that you should not do if you walk into a Rolex boutique. And um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, mentorship.ceo. And stay tuned for some more videos. Subtitle, zip it.